In this video, I want to show you how changing the order of integration can make a very complicated integral, or sum of integrals, uh, into something that's a lot easier to work with. So when you're sketching these things by hand, you want to be really, really careful uh, about how you do it. Now, <clears throat> you might be tempting just to draw an xy axis and then to say, OK, you know, this is 1, and that's 1, and then you know, the line y equals x, and then you know, that line. And then you, you're restricted to this tiny little space but you've wasted all this other space, right? You don't want to get into that habit when you're drawing these things. You want to be really careful about how we go about doing it. So when I'm doing a problem like this, let's look at the x and y limits separately, right? Because I want to draw, you know, I want to know what my x limits are, my y limits are for the actual graph that I'm going to draw. So the x limits for the first part of the integral are from 0 to y. That's actually the equation y equals x. And the x limits in the second part are going to be from 0 to x equals 2 minus y. Right? So for the equation x equals y, I know that the x and y intercepts are going to be uh, 1, 0, and 0, 1, respectively. Right? That should be pretty easy to do. That's like algebra 1. And for this one, I know that x is you know bounded by uh, let's see, x equals 2 minus y. So when x equals 0, y equals 2. And when y equals 0, x equals 2. So immediately I know what my x bounds are going to be. The lowest is going to be 0, and the most is going to be uh, 2. Now, for the y limits, that's really easy to do. Um, it's just explicitly given y goes from 0 to 1, and y goes from 1 to 2. So y is going to go from 0, which is the lowest, to 2, which is the highest. Now I can actually start drawing this thing. right? I can uh, start drawing, and then we can change our order of integration. So let's use this color. And everything's in the first quadrant. So I'll draw something like this. That's x. That's y. Now, I know my x goes from 0 to 2. So call that 1, call that 2. And I know that y goes also from 0 to 2. So call that 1, call that 2. Now, for the first integral, and I guess I'll do this in green, right? We'll call this one the green integral. Um, the x limits are from 0 to y equals x. So y equals x is going to pass through the point 1, 1. It's going to pass through the point 2, 2. And it's going to be a line. And I'm going to just draw in uh, a different um, style like this, just so we can make it a bit clearer. So there's the line y equals x or x equals y. Okay, And I know that the y limits go from 0 to 1. Right, so I start off down here and I end up at y equals 1. This is y equals 1. So we're t the first part of the, the integral is in this region of the plane, which I can just paint. Oh, that did not work. Apparently I can't do that. Um, it's going to be in this region. That's the first part. Now let's do the other one in another color. Let's use maybe this shade of purple. Okay, The x limits go from 0 to this line x equals 2 minus y, which I know has um, that as a point, uh, zero, 2, 0, and 0, 2. And when I draw that, it's going to go through 1, 1. Right? And this is the line x equals 2 minus y, or y equals negative x plus 2. Okay? And I know that my y limits go from 1 to 2. So that means it's going this way. So that's the second region. Right. Now, this should be pretty easy to transfer into an integral 
a, a single double integral, one double integral, right? So we're going to switch the order of integration such that we have dy dx, and then here's our function f of xy, and then we're going to have y equals something to y equals something else, and then over here we're going to have x equals something to x equals something else. X is pretty easy to do. X is just going to go from 0 to 1, right? Because this is the point 1, 1. So x is 0 to x is 1. Now we have to find uh, what the y bounds are, right? Well, y equals x, and y equals negative x plus 2. And since we're doing this in the traditional fashion, the lower bound is going to be y equals x. And the upper bound is going to be minus x plus 2. Okay, And this is now a convenient single integral. And we're done.